Hi everyone, this is Dr. Heather Austin Robillard and I am your online instructor for this section of ADRS 4324, Assessment and Testing in Addiction and Recovery. In this brief little video, I'm just going to share a little bit about who I am and what you can expect from this course. So let's get started. So I am a licensed marriage and family therapist um, and I specialize in working with individuals uh, where they either struggle with a substance or behavioral addiction. And so I actually um, facilitate substance abuse evaluations in my private practice uh, pretty regularly. So in this course, the main outcome is for you to be able to understand how to facilitate a substance abuse evaluation report. Um, you'll see from this syllabus that I do have office hours from 12 to 1 p.m. on Wednesdays. Um, those are all virtual during the summer sessions. You can see there's also no required text for this course. All of your required readings will be located on Blackboard. Please make sure that you are turning in all of your assignments using either PDF or Word document as I'm unable to accept anything that is turned in through pages. Let's go to the course requirements. Um, so in this course, one of the assignments is that you will need to read over and understand the syllabus and take a syllabus quiz, testing your comprehension of your understanding of the syllabus. There will be two exams. Um, there's no comprehensive exam. So the first exam is just going to be over the first seven modules, and the second exam is going to be over the last seven modules. Uh, this course is going to be heavy with role playing and interviewing um, skills. So we do have several activities where you will either be role playing with a classmate or you can use a, a friend or family member, um, giving them assessments or asking them interview questions in order to write up a substance abuse evaluation. There will be module quizzes that will just test your comprehension over the reading and lecture videos for that specific module. And then again, because the substance abuse evaluation report is the main uh, component of this course, we do have two writing exercises. In the first writing exercise, you will be graded on one, uh, downloading a role-playing video of you interviewing and assessing an individual who has a, a individual client who has a made up story of them having a substance use disorder. Uh, then you will write up the results of that interview through a substance abuse evaluation, which I do actually have an example of that on Blackboard. The second writing exercise, you will have um, no need to upload the role playing video. However, you will still role play. And then there will be additional requirements like additional assessments and screening tools that you will need to utilize and upload. And then of course, lastly, we do have three discussion boards where you will need to respond appropriately to the response uh, utilizing course information and then respond thoughtfully to at least one of your peers in the course. Because there is no late work accepted in this course, I do have two extra credit opportunities. The first extra credit opportunity is to participate in SONA research. So you can sign up for any research on SONA that you qualify for and get earn up to 10 extra credit points for each credit um, hour that you earn through SONA is worth five extra credit points in my class. And then lastly, in writing exercise one, you will have an opportunity to watch one of your classmates uh, role-playing video and give feedback using a checklist that I have uh, provided for you. Here you can see um, what all of the assignments are worth and what how many points you would need to get in order to get your desired grade. Please note that I do bump up your uh, ending grade at the end of the semester if it is 1.5% away from the next letter grade. So if you're a 68.5%, I bump you up to a C. If you're a 78.5%, I bump you up to a B and so on. Um, if you are anything less than that, so for example, even if you end the semester at a 68.4, I will not bump you up to a C. You will remain the grade that you earned. As for course communication, the best way to reach me is through email. Um, I do try to respond to those within 24 hours during the weekdays and 48 hours during the week uh, ends. Um, your assignments, I know this is a very fast paced course, so I try to get your assignments back as quickly as possible uh, with the goal of at least having them completed within one week of their due date. If you are working in conjunction with the Student Disability Services, please make sure that you have emailed me to confirm that I have received your accommodations and have updated those onto Blackboard. 
Lastly, I wanted to go down to the course schedule. As you can see, I broke up the course schedule into the weeks that are available during the summer. Um, typically during the long semesters, all of my assignments are due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m. Because this is a condensed short summer session, um, all of the assignments will be due either on a Wednesday or on a Sunday. So please make sure you're writing down the due dates um, so that you're not turning in anything late because that will be marked as a zero. I hope you guys enjoy this class. This is going to be really fast paced, but we'll learn a lot and you'll definitely have a good understanding of how to assess and write up a substance abuse evaluation at the end of this course. Thank you. And I look forward to all of your uh, cooperation this semester.